morning guys it's Monday again <laughs> seems like Monday comes so fast um what happened this weekend let's see not much uh, I had my bestie over for dinner on Friday and then she was busy Saturday and Chris and I went and I paid the uh, rent for my booth that uh, Rachel Taylor Ann designs down on Harrison Avenue little plug there um and then what did we do then we went and had uh hot dogs at tom's hot dogs if you ever get to come to panama city or if you're local tom's hot dogs is the best then i think we just went home i don't remember no we went looking and i got a pair of shoes that's what happened and uh, i had the hardest time finding shoes that i like because they're either too skinny and bless his heart he helps but he runs up and down the aisles looking for shoes and instead of letting me go at my own pace which i know better than to go shopping with him with me but i wanted him with me because last weekend we didn't have very good weekends so i wanted him there but anyway i found a pair of shoes after getting frustrated and listening to bawling children in the store and everything and now hopefully i can start walking without my foot hurting because my other shoes was making it feel like I had a stone bruise on the bottom of my foot. Let's see, then what happened? Well, and then we went home and we watched movies and I edited videos and put some videos, new videos up from last week. Got up and did some clothes also on Saturday and my dryer kept biting onto my clothes while it was spinning. As a matter of fact, this shirt was one of them. It grabbed the collar and it held onto it and it so it spun it around and it made this horrible noise and then there was this awful black mark which I did get out um, off on the clothes and so I got to looking at the other clothes and it had black marks on it too. And I'm like, the clothes dryer is eating the clothes. And well, Chris was like, no, we can't do that. So Sunday we went and looked for a dryer and found one. It's a nice, um, one of those new ones that has the glass in the front and that has the front loader washer to match. We didn't get the washer yet, but we're going to wait on that and save our money back up and then go buy that. That's what we had to do yesterday. We went and got a, a dryer and boy, I tell you what, if you don't move your washer and dryer and clean under it once in a while, holy crap, dude. That was terrible. I was embarrassed. Well, while we were there, um, Erin calls and she's upset and she's crying because the TARDIS is being stupid again. That's her car. I kind of fussed because I, I was already agitated being in the store. I hate going to the store. I hate going and buying things like that because the salespeople are just irritating and, and it was driving me nuts. And then she called with this business on top of it. Well, the car belongs to her dad technically. It's in his name. So I'm like, you got to call dad. I can't deal with this right now. Well, then she started crying and I was like, I am sorry because I was kind of harsh with her about it. And I said, I'm sorry, but it's daddy's car. It's in daddy's name. I said, if you don't want to call dad, call Austin, her boyfriend dad who's a mechanic I said and, and ask him what he thinks is wrong I said I think it's a sensor or the brain isn't telling the car what to do right or whatever but I can't do anything about that that's dad's car dad has to do it and she's just you know upset upset and so finally I get her calmed down and I'm like okay well call dad and then call Austin and see what you can get done. Well, I, I get home with my new dryer and uh, Chris and I take the old dryer out and it's grody under there and I'm so embarrassed. So I'm cleaning this mess and moving the washer and cleaning under it and then um, he's unboxing the dryer and he's like, there's no cord for this dryer. And he looks at the old dryer and I'm like, that one's not gonna work because that's a gas dryer and we've just bought an electric dryer. I said, I told you, we have a plug right there for that, but you have to make sure um, that the plug comes with the dryer, which I assumed at least one version of it did, but apparently it does. So I was trying to tell him while we were in the store to check and make sure if it does or does not because while we were there we could have got it well he interrupted me and was talking to the salesperson so I just shut up and I kept talking I figured he'll figure it out and then when he does I'll tell him well I was trying to explain that to you when you cut me off when I was talking because he does it a lot and it's irritating so consequently we had no plug for the dryer and I'm like Walmart we'll just go to Walmart because I knew they had them they weren't where I thought they were, but they did have them because I had, um, while we were doing all of that, Austin and Tracy come over and I'm like, Tracy, can you please take me to Walmart? She's like, of course. So we went to Walmart. 
because I wasn't taking anything extra. Anyway, side note, got the plug, got home, gave him the plug, and uh, of course he had to look at the plug and look at the wall to make sure I got the right one, and I was that always infuriates me because it's like I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, side note again, so we get this floor cleaned, get the dryer put in place, get all the things and whatnot, and we're doing the door because of course every dryer door in the universe opens to towards the right like this instead of like this which is the way I needed it to open. So I told him, I said, you know, it's really probably not a big, huge deal for us to do this ourselves, And it shouldn't have been, but he got started on it before I had a chance to help him look at it and figure out what the best plan of attack would be. And it caused trouble, which didn't have to be caused. Really, it did not. It did not have to be that difficult. But it ended up being a, him yelling and me getting upset and... and like everything is when we try to do a project together and uh, so finally we get the door together and get it back on so it's pulling and opening in the right direction and everything and uh, of course by this time I'm upset again for the third time during the day and it's like I'm done I'm over so I just I'm basically I quit talking for the rest of the day I just went and got my laptop and sat on the couch so yeah <laughs> And also did not get any anything accomplished that I wanted to on Sunday. I wanted to dig in the garden and get it ready to put plants in and did not get that done either. So yeah. Anyway, maybe next weekend. <laughs> so that is how my weekend went. But all in all, it wasn't terrible. I got a new dryer and it is uber quiet. You can't even tell when it shuts off. So it's like awesome. And I can't wait to get the washer go with it because it's probably going to be equally as quiet and yeah that'll be nice because then we don't have to listen to the tv so loud when he's watching tv or playing video games so. it's a small win but it's a win and that's what counts right small wins are better than no wins and it is foggy as hell on the bridge i don't understand weird not foggy in town at all but i'm at the bridge now and wow, there's like a heavy mist over everything. It's kind of creepy actually. Hope I'm not driving into a Stephen King movie. That would suck. <laughs> anyway, now I'm on my way to work and I'm almost there. So I'm going to let you go. But I wanted to thank you for all of your views. You guys rock. You are really, really taking good care of me. I'm telling you, I've got over 12,000 views now. And I don't usually pay too much attention to the analytics because it's really not important. I like doing this because I like doing this because believe me, the pay doesn't keep me at home. That's for sure. Um, but it does help. Every, every little penny helps. So thank you very much for your views. And for all my subscribers, I'm at 70 now, which is fabulous. I'm excited about that. And as always, if anything exciting happens, I will be back. And if not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.